Now, Bill Weir, host of CNN's Wonder List, um, with a big picture. You know, you go to a lot of places. You do a lot of things. I'm lucky. You're taking us ah, for the Wonder List. You're talking about, you're taking us to the Alps, right? Yeah, we're doing a twofer. This is the big finale Sunday night, and we're going to start uh, in the Alps. To go look at glaciers that are going away at a staggering rate. Wow. Uh, the climatologists say 95% of the world's glaciers that are monitored are in retreat. I've read countless sort of scientific studies about why and how fast, but I really wanted to see it through the eyes of people who really know their ice. And for that, Chamonix, France, and these, these alpinists, these climbers and skiers are some of the best in the world. Okay, we would like to take a, you're talking, we want to take a look at you in action. Oh, that's, I'm sorry. Right. Shut me up, Don Lemon. <laughs> Let's Shut look. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop eating so much bacon. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. A wheezing first timer would never notice the changes, but the lifers certainly do. First time I came to Chamonix when I was 12, I'm now 34. Uh, these glaciers used to be like 500, 600 meters below, and they keep going up. As you can see now, this one used to be in Chamonix, <laughs> all the way down. Seb is also worried about snowfall trends. This has been one of the driest years in memory. It's almost Christmas, and the ski resorts don't have enough snow to open. But Seb pulls some strings and gets us a ride to a spot where we can hike up and slide down. First turns of the year. First turns in the Alps. First turns. And being filmed by three cameras. No pressure. No pressure. No, the birthplace of the Winter Olympics, right? I heard you say, you know, the bacon thing. I can totally relate to that. But these resorts don't have enough snow to open? Well, this was this last season was really dry there. Same in the States in a lot of places there. And, and, and it was interesting talking to these lifers, not just Seb, who's a young, strapping 30-something, but 60-year-old uh, old men of the mountains who can't climb the same routes anymore because the glaciers they grew up on have literally melted beneath their boots. This is happening right now in California, western U.S., the low snowpack. Right. Why do you think there's so much skepticism, though, when it comes to climate change or global warming? It's, a, it's, it's an interesting question. I actually went as part of this hour to the Heartland Institute, is this sort of conservative libertarian think tank. They hold this annual sort of climate change skeptic conference in Las Vegas, and I went there to try to understand what, how they think the way they think when you have NASA and NOAA and the Pentagon and the Pope and Apple and Google and Coke and Pepsi, all these people agreeing that there's a huge problem burning yeah. so much carbon, it's changing the sky. And a lot of times it just comes from a real honest resistance to big government, which yeah. is the solution to this massive problem, a lot of people think. This Sunday you're going to take, so I'm a southern boy, so yeah. you call it the world's most famous swamp. I just think it's beautiful down there. I came from Louisiana and Florida. Yeah, yeah. That, that's all beautiful. Perfect. What did you find there? Well, the Everglades, you know, we're going to do Alps first and the Everglades at 10 o'clock. And this is an example of man's folly, unlike any other. You know, about 70 years ago, the, the so battle good. cry and the war on nature was drain the swamp and let's turn Florida into this place, capital of the good life. And what people didn't realize is, is that so-called swamp, uh, good life can't exist without all that fresh water, with all that wildlife diversity, without that Everglades as a hurricane sponge. It's responsible for all the life. Uh, around the Florida Keys, yeah. you know, and so the same Army Corps of Engineers that dredged it and blew it up and dug it out in the 50s is now under orders to put it back. Wow. And we're checking on the progress. I went once with a tour guide and we were saying, hey, is that a, uh, is that a statue? And he's like, no, that's a real gator. That's you don't a gator. want to go, yeah. Thank you, Bill Weir. Thanks, Appreciate Doug. it. You can see the two hour season finale of The Wonder List Sunday, 9 Eastern, right here on CNN. Again, our thanks to Bill Weir. We'll be right back.